Hello everyone, welcome to question number 3 strings, longest palindrome in a string in geek for geeks must do coding interview questions. Have a quick look at the question and we will be discussing the meaning and the approach to it. Before that, please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any extra email IDs, do subscribe and support our channel. And if you have any doubt, just leave a comment down below. I'm very quick to respond. Now let us understand the meaning of the question. So in this question, uh, it is saying we have to find the longest palindrome in a string. Okay. For example, in this question, the string is given as a a a a b b a right. And what is a palindrome? Palindrome is uh, from the left side if you read start reading, and from the right side if you start reading, it should be the same. Okay. And we have to find the longest one. Let us see how many uh, palindrome strings can be found inside this. Okay. First one is this a itself. Okay. If you read left to right, it will be a. If you read right to left also, it will be. And then comes double a. Okay. Double a is also one palindrome and triple a is also one palindrome and four a's are also a one palindrome because from left to right and right to left you will be reading the same okay now a a a b okay this is not a palindrome uh, i will write uh non palindromes in different color a a a b this is not a palindrome number okay this is not a palindrome and similarly B, B is also not a palindrome, right? And rest also. Following B, then A is there, another A is there. These four combinations are known palindrome here. Okay. And there are few more palindromes. You can check here. A, 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 B, B, A. A, A. Not, right? From, from this part. If you see A, A, B, B, A, A, you can see one palindrome here. And this is A, A, B, B, A, A. Now, if you compare the length, uh, in the possible combinations of palindrome here this last one is a maximum length combination right and this is our output for this okay now we have to find out how we got it right okay now we understood what is a palindrome right from left to right and right to left should be the same when you read it okay now how we approach in code okay let us discuss the approach now we are going to start with an even example okay for odd and even the cases will be different slightly only slightly because you can see uh, this is one example that is a palindrome in this case in the even case we take two pointers and we take two mid values and compare them okay this will be i pointer and this will be j pointer now two of them are equal from the middle element we will check okay from the middle element opposite sides will always be same in palindrome okay so i j are same here that's why we decrement i you know i will be here and j will become here now we check left and right side yes both are same again i will be decremented here and j will be incremented to here a and a are both are same after that i will be decremented j will be incremented both will go out of bounds okay, if it goes both out of bounds then we ignore it okay now a a b b a a is a palindrome number right and that is the biggest one this is a method for checking an event Okay, and we'll discuss this in uh, in a detailed manner now by taking the above example this one okay let us take the above example now we have written the above input as an example and this is a even length string okay remember i told an even length string we will take two middle elements and compare them as we compare we decrease i i pointer and we increase j point and we'll be doing the same for this okay how will we do that is we uh, assume the two elements has to be middle elements and we keep decreasing i and increasing j and we keep checking okay that will be one box that will be treated as a middle element and this another box which will be treated as middle element and similarly we check for all others okay these two are treated as two middle elements and these two will be treated as two middle elements and similarly the next two elements will be treated as middle elements okay those are different boxes now we're going to do do the same thing we're going to do the same approach that we have explained as a a b b a example we're going to do the same thing here now i pointer is here and j pointer is here okay and these two pointers are only for the first box for now okay now a a okay both a are equal okay that will be one palindrome number so there is no issue now i will be decremented i will decrement by one and that will go out of bounds so we now skip to the next box next box means the next iteration here zero this is zero index this is first index so next box always start from the next index only right now in the next box this will be treated as i and this will be treated as j okay 
this is the yellow box you think that will be next middle element box now both a are same okay we have already uh, noted the palindrome okay now decrement 1 a i mean i decremented 1 i and increment 1 j so now we will be getting 4 a's now okay and this is also palindrome okay this is fine now we can decrement 1 i increment j now i will go out of bond for the second yellow box okay this is the maximum element that we can get in the second yellow box now again move one more box okay now we are the third box which is in a blue color that will be a a it is already there now decrement one i increment one j now that will be named a a a b okay this is not a palindrome continue now again a okay decremented 1i and incremented 1j this is also not palindrome and the next decrement or my next iteration i will go out of bounds okay so this is not a palindrome now okay for blue box is also finished now now coming to the purple boxes we are at a and b okay at starting only it is not a palindrome a is not equal to b here okay now we check by decreasing i and increasing j now a a a a b b okay this is also not a palindrome number Similarly, we decrement A, increase J here. And if you see that carefully, that will not be a palindrome number. All the combinations you can write down on your notes, decrement 1i and increment 1j and write all, all those combinations. Okay. And all those will be not a, all those will not be a palindrome numbers. Okay. Now coming to the another purple box here. Okay. First purple box, we treated AB as middle elements. Now in the second purple box, we're treating BB as a middle element. Okay. Now B is equal to B. That is very fine. Now BB are a palindrome. Okay. Good. Now we decrement one I and increment one J. Now we get uh, one other string AB, BA. This is also palindrome. Yes, absolutely fine. And we will continue this till one index go out of bound. Okay. Now again, decrement one index i. Now we have a on that side and j also we are incrementing j pointer. We also got. Now it is the longest palindrome that is given in the example. Now if you try to decrement i, okay, i will be successful. But if you try to increment j index here, okay, this is the final a and there is uh, no element outside of this. This will go out of bound. Then we go to the next box here okay next box will be this ba we can check this ba and aa as taking as a final uh, middle element and you can write on all the possible combinations but you won't be getting a, a maximum palindrome in that case okay and i'm only writing till this part and this will be our final output okay you can practice yourself uh, how to get all the possible combination i have already explained it okay and i hope you have understood what i'm trying to say okay and this is the approach to our question in even case only small differences in even case we are taking i and j totally opposite but if it is the odd suppose a b a i and j will be starting at the same position okay in even case we started i and j as left and right position but i and j in at odd length okay this is the odd length uh, example so we will try to do from the middle itself so i and j is from starting from middle now next time i will be here and j will be here okay so this will be the same example as this one but only the difference is the starting initial pointer are same for the odd length okay if you have understood please give us a like if you still facing the problem let's continue to the coding section after seeing the code i hope your doubt will be cleared okay now we are inside the coding session and you can see the code here and this code is for odd length code and this code is for an even length okay i told that in uh, odd length we will be taking the same index for left and right pointers okay we're taking i and both are indicating at the same position that is for odd but in even i told left and right will be separate middle elements okay in even elements we're taking two middle elements at a time okay one is represent i and another is representing i plus okay and l will be decremented r will be incremented in that case okay you can see this while loop okay this while loop is same above and below also only difference is pointer initialization okay for odd length separate initialization there for even length there is small difference that's all okay and as i have explained in the presentation i hope you're getting the code if you after seeing the code i hope everything is clear if you like the video please give us a like and if you have any time let us please do subscribe we have still if you are facing any problem just leave us a comment down below thank you for watching till then let's meet in another question